Hey guys, this is the Far From The Farf Guide. Just uh, another episode, about a story. Um, so, I'm not sure if you have checked out the videos that are on this website or on the YouTube channel. But basically there's a video about a friend of mine and a fellow, fellow classmate who actually failed the course. In fact, failed several. So, I'm here to make a confession. Um, I did fail a course once. Uh, basically, what was happening was was uh, I was at SFU. Well, I went to I went to BCIT, then Kwantlen, and then SFU, and then back to Kwantlen. But when I was at SFU, I wasn't doing very good with grades. I think my highest course was like a C plus back then. I had a couple C's, and then I uh, I took uh, Mind and Memory with uh, Dr. Bruce Whittlesey, and. Uh, he, he was a good guy, a very smart guy, very good teacher, um, but his tests were really difficult. And the homework wasn't that difficult, but the tests were really difficult, okay? So basically, um, here's what I want to say, basically, that, uh, that teachers do different styles in tests and how they test you and how they give marks and stuff like that. So you got to be kind of in tune with your teacher if you're not you will fail or do worse than you think you should should have right so I think that's very important to understand so basically what I did what what the tests were was that that's where I mostly failed my stuff the homework I didn't do too bad in but the tests were really difficult the tests were multiple multiple choice now how does that work well basically a multiple multiple choice says a bunch of sentences about something and then they say and then between a sentence they might say fill in the blank and then it would you either get to choose one of them, two of them, three of the options. Well, honestly, um, if you choose one of the options, and it's supposed to be two of the options that you're supposed to choose, you 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 get the mark wrong. You get the question wrong. So basically, there's many more ways to mess up than there is to actually be able to do your do it correctly. So let's say three of the things, three of the four are right. You have to hit those. You got to circle those right three. If you don't. You get the answer wrong. Even if you get a half right, you still get it wrong. So basically, what I was taught, and I, I should have, I should, I think I did ask this at the beginning of the semester. I said, "Hey, how do we be successful in this course?" And they went, you know, all you have to do is make a story. Uh, just make a story of what you learned from class, and then uh, write it down, or make a story out of it, and read it over and over and over again. Well, I didn't do that. I sort of did, but. No, I actually started doing it, but I didn't. I just study like I did before, which is make notes and uh, you know uh, make questions out of the uh, interesting information and answer them and read them over and over again. Well, that didn't work. Okay, this is a very difficult course. I wasn't used to the um, the way of grading and and and, and the tests, and I wasn't used to making a story about things. So I had to change things up a little bit. So so uh, I ended up failing. And uh, I I expected I'd fail anyway, so it's not too bad if you expect you're going to fail. But if you think you're going to do really well and you fail, it's really difficult. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, it happens to the best of us. Like I got a B plus average, um, and and I failed the course. You know, and I'm pretty good. I'm an okay. Mm, maybe not the best student in the world, but I'm a pretty darn good student, and I I work really hard. And I failed, you know, and there's nothing to be embarrassed about failing or anything like that. You could become a successful teacher or or a member of parliament or whatnot or whatever after failing. You could fail. I mean, but what I learned from failing was is that I thought it was the teacher's fault. But in hindsight, I should have studied the proper way. So... When you go into a course, the first day, you should be asking the teacher, how do I be successful in this course? That's important. That's essential. If you don't, then you might not do as well, or you might work too hard and burn yourself out. So just be aware of that. Okay, guys, well, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for coming out today. Thank you so much.